standing in front of the Grand Prospect Hall where later on this evening St. Savior's Elementary School will celebrate its 100th anniversary with a uh, celebration gala. Um, hopefully we'll film nicely and share with folks uh, on the internet. Uh, the Grand Prospect Hall is a beautiful facility located in Park Slope, Brooklyn. And the inside is as majestic as the outside. Okay, the main entrance to Grand Prospect Hall begins with this beautiful statue and leads towards this very elegant staircase. I know it's been the scene of many wedding pictures. Kind of crowning the room here is this wonderful uh, chandelier. And just to the side of this main staircase is the oak room. People can go and uh, get some refreshments. A beautiful setting. Okay, I guess we'll go upstairs and get the slideshows. No, no, it's now evening time and the event is starting. We have some folks coming inside. And Miss Lux is here, Lux Paul. How you doing, guys? Good to see you. Excellent. <laughs> see you inside. What a beautiful building. Oops. And there will be a cocktail hour, I think, starting in the Oak Room shortly. Who's going in? Mrs. Balzamo has arrived, one of the key teachers for St. Saviors. Yeah. Wonderful years. pictures, 18 years. How many years for Mr. Flanagan? This is his 25th. Oh, it is. As principal? Yes. Wow. St. Saviors Excellent, excellent. Okay, here we go. Miss Lux, and Mrs. Lux Paul has arrived. There they go, how beautiful. Very gorgeous. Hello, sir. How are you? Okay, everyone's making their way upstairs. And I will do the same shortly. Okay, here we go. Hi, Mrs. Dunn. Okay, people are arriving. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh, it's okay, a real adventure. I can't wait for the plan. Okay, now in the cocktail hour. 7.30 to 8.45. Change the size of the table over here, set up. Some of some uh, same table we go Can you help me take the still pictures today? Hi. Hello, good looking. Charlie <laughs> Powers. Hello, gentlemen, ladies.
beautiful ball line. Okay, out of the evening, we'll involve some raffles. Some of the raffles will include things like a personal tour, a Brooklyn Borough Hall, membership to the Y, tickets to sporting events. And good park slope and seeing savior folks. Hi guys. No. Sorry. Sorry. Here is a diagram of the proposed library for this elementary school.
we stopped counting the weapons. I'll tell you, that, so when were you in? What year? I was in 65 to 74. Holy cow, what year to be in? It's kind of like a pretty tricky time. We stayed in the States, we went overseas. Really? Wow. Coming up to the far front, no blood was on that one. That's good. Okay, Pam. Pam. Greg, turn them around. You want to get in the film there, Karen? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Well, this is the video camera thing. From you. Yeah. All, right. Right. All right. I have not been in this room before. This is quite nice. This is a fantastic place. Yeah, I've never been here. I was here the first time uh, last year. Father. Father Ty. Come here, Father Ty. He knows. It's a pleasure to see parents of the championship softball team. And of course... Really? Okay. Hello. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Here we go. We got a little bit... It's, it's kind of... The, the cocktail hour has kind of moved inside. It's just about time to go into the big room. Can we get you on film here? I guess, I guess you, can, you already have it. Are you, are you a, uh, what, what grade, or what class did you graduate from? I'm Phil Devaney, and I went to school with Great to see you. Oh, I love it, I love it. Phil Devaney, doing the deed. Good job, buddy. Okay. There we go. Okay, wait a minute. The last time I got her on camera, she was exposing her legs. Listen, this is Charlie, his wife, and I'm his girlfriend. Hi, Charlie. How are you? Barbara. Are you guys Barbara? Barbara? How are you, Barbara? Now, did you guys go to St. Xavier's or yeah, send yeah, some I kids did. there? Yeah, I did. Oh, man, that's just good. Excellent. Very impressed. We were, we were in the crowd, and we had great music. I was born in Brooklyn, but I grew up out in Long Island. Then I married a Brooklyn girl, and I came back. And 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 her whole family went to St. David's Elementary School, the Seals. And now my whole family's going to St. David's Elementary School. That's the Seals from Seventh Street. From uh, Tenth Street. Yes. So very nice. There we go. How are you, Jonathan? Poe. Georgie, you're not here, Georgie. We're Keep saying it. Georgie, Georgie, I'll see you tonight, Georgie. Gonna, I'll see you about 12.30. supposed to be here. I'll see you at 12.30, Georgie. So Georgie and Lori. Lori's here. Is she? Yeah. Okay, I haven't seen them yet. I'm doing my duty. I'm trying to do some filming. How's your son doing? Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. I just got the superintendent's award. He's in the top 20% of his class. I wouldn't expect anything different. No, so he's very proud of himself. He's a good kid. Thank you. He's a good kid. Amazing. I love it. People love turtles. She's a good kid. That's the point. You know? Okay. There she is. Excellent. It's good to see you. Okay. So the thing about this is this is the video camera picture. Exactly. Georgie's not here, so we're gonna. Georgie's here. Lori's here. Diana's here. Joey's here. Okay, guys. Thank you. Everybody is kneeling into the big room in the cocktail hour. We'd like to ask all of our guests to kindly take their seats so we can get on the way with our presentations. Thank you.
Fashion Gala. Plus, Principal in Flanagan. Well, for the new ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the very lovely Grand Prospect Hall as they celebrate St. Cecilia Elementary School's Centennial Celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of National Players of the Haven and the staff here at the Grand Prospect Hall, we do hope all of you are ready to have a great time this evening. But right now, without further ado, it is my pleasure to bring up the Vice President of Friends of St. Xavier, Mr. Phil Smallman. Let's give him a great big round of applause as he makes his way up to the podium. Let's hear it for Phil. Phil? Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'm asking if Mr. Phil Smallman, your undivided attention. Thank you so much.
This is my 14th year, and he has been a part of every single one of them. Each year, we get from St. Xavier's Elementary School the greatest bunch of kids, so well prepared, such wonderful, wonderful girls. And it's because of the dedication of the faculty and Jim Flanagan that this happens. So in the name of the many, many sisters who have come through the years, over 90, I'm sure, probably the actual 100, many of whom have gone to God and are watching over us, some of whom are now in Wilton, in the healthcare center. And when I go up there, they always, if they're functional and can get around, they come over to me and say, and how is St. James, St. Savior, and how is Mr. Flanning? I always ask for you. And thank you, and thank you all. My final remarks are to the people who put together a wonderful, wonderful evening for you. Uh, when we realized that we were having financial problems, parents on their own rose up and said, what can we do to really make our school very viable and solvent financially? And uh, the first gala that many of you attended uh, and have come back for a second from was run by this group of dedicated people. I can't name all their names, but there are two people who spearheaded uh, the event. They are the co-chairs of the event, Virginia Powers and Teresa Powers. So they stand so we can give them a really wonderful and And I thank Kathy Hunt for the wonderful work that she has done on the journal and the organizing. Once again, I'll have a round of applause for Mr. Flanagan. He is well deserved. Well I know you're getting hungry, but before you can eat, Father Murphy is going to give us a little blessing. Father Murphy. Thank you, Mrs. Smalley. Well, this is our 100th celebration, centennial celebration. That means it's our birthday, our St. Savior's birthday. Join me, please. Don't make me do a solo. At the count of three, we're going to sing happy birthday to ourselves. One, two, three. Mr. Flanagan and thanking the friends of St. Saviors, Teresa and Virginia and Kathy and Phil and all of them, all of them who put this night together. We're very grateful. We're certainly grateful to Mr. Flanagan and his faculty. You know, you, you know what the great, great dedication to make a great school. Uh, and, and they have that. And all the staff, Father Todd, so much now part of the school, thank God. Uh, and all those who make the school what it is. We're very grateful for the past. The school sisters of Notre Dame, but we are it, thank God we are it. And all of the faculty of the, the past, the hundred years, many of them, most of them are in heaven. But they're the ones on whose shoulders this foundation of a great Catholic school is built. So tonight is a night of gratitude. And I'll, I'll end our little gratitude with a prayer. Dear God, we do pray gratitude. We pray gratitude for the first hundred years. We pray gratitude for all that has happened in our school down through those years. All the wonderful, wonderful teaching, the wonderful people that have progressed from our elementary school into all walks of life. We do thank you, dear Lord, for tonight, an opportunity to gather with 
friends and family, with teachers, with those that we haven't seen in a while. We thank you for this gathering tonight and for our help to be able to be here tonight. And for the generosity of people who even in these tough, turbulent economic times are able to reach deep down and be generous so that Catholic education here at St. Saviors can continue to flourish. With a deep, deep debt of gratitude, we thank you and ask your continued blessings upon us this year, next year, and for the next hundred years. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Murphy. Hi there, let's see. Would you please stand up if you're a present faculty member or a former faculty member at St. Xavier's Elementary School? My thanks, the thanks of everyone here, and a round of applause for these members of the faculty. Thank you. 
to get to purchase your raffle tickets help raise funds for this event. Thank you so much.
doing a lot, I'm say so myself. Oh boy. Oh, uh, same birthday, she shares same birthday. Except Susie is 20 years younger than me. <laughs> uh, Teresa? Come on, Teresa, where are you going? Hey, John! John!
some grease. Time to get all of our American idols out there. Come and join us, guys. It's a grease lightning. contributions in every walk of life and we all know that the education of St. Xavier's Elementary School is the best, absolutely the best, that New York and America can provide. And believe me, I'm not saying it as borough president, even a Jewish guy like me knows the quality education. Every one of you, a hundred years is something to celebrate, but most of that St. Xavier's bizarre. Now I gotta tell you, a hundred years ago, President served our country. A first class stamp was two cents. Imagine, that was the year that a New Year's celebration in Manhattan where the ball dropped for the very first time. That year, I must say, that uh, uh, Brooklyn and Manhattan were connected by the subway system. The Children's Encyclopedia was published that year for the first time. This Model T Ford that year. Brooklyn Academy of Music that year. And let's see, uh, I'm not going to tell you about the subject that year. And let's see, uh, I'm not going to tell you about the subject. Our beloved Brooklyn Academy of Music was born the company Xlax. <laughs> well, it's a Brooklyn company, and they were born that year. The Melita Trip, the first commercial toaster that year. Women were all Olympics that year for the very first time. And guess what was the number? To the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. But we all know that the very best thing that happened 100 years ago was the establishment of St. Xavier Elementary School. And therefore, on behalf of all of Brooklyn, I'm very proud to declare this day what is now the Republic of Brooklyn. We're no longer a borough. Three and a half weeks ago, I declared Brooklyn a republic, and I'm not changing my title from Borough Pres St. Xavier Elementary School, 100th Anniversary Celebration Day in the Republic of Brooklyn, USA. The one song in America that year. You ready? Take me. Congratulations to each and every one of you. And to Prime Minister, don't worry. Declaring this day, and before I leave you, just a little joke that I hope you'll enjoy as much as I do. Three men, newlyweds, just got married. Duties and responsibilities. The first man, and they were very proud of assigning to their new wives, a woman, Scandinavian, from Illinois. The company, x -Lax. <laughs> Well, and he told her that she had to do the dishes every day, clean the house every day, and it took a couple of days, but on the third day, 
the dishes washed and put away. The second man married a Lebanese woman from Michigan. He had given his wife orders that she was to do the cleaning and dishes and the cooking. The first day he didn't see anything, but the next day he saw it was better. And by the third day his house was clean, the dishes were washed, put away, and there was a dinner waiting for him on the table. He said the first day he didn't see anything, the second day he didn't see anything, but by the third day, some of the swelling had gone down, and he could see a little out of his left eye, enough to fix himself a sandwich and to load the dishwasher. <laughs> Finally, since I am with a name like Markowitz, Jewish, I gotta say something. Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad I had a wonderful dream last night. I could see all of America, your beautiful country. And on each house, I saw a banner. What did the banner say? Bush asked. And Mahmoud replied, the United States of Iran. Ooh. President Bush said, you know, Mahmoud, funny I had the same dream last night. Because believe it or not, I saw your beautiful city, Tehran. It was more beautiful than ever. And on every house, flew an enormous banner. What did it say on the banners? Mahmoud asked President Bush. And President Bush said, I don't know, I can't read Hebrew. Anyway, with that, ladies and gentlemen, St. Xavier's Elementary School, thank you for your contributions for over these last 100 years, and the best is yet to come. Have a good evening, and thank you very, very much. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a great big round of applause for our President Marty Markowitz. Let's hear from him. Thank, Thank you so you. much for stopping by and that very special speech. Got it. Thank you.
$10 second prize has just been picked out of the barrel. Second prize, the $1,000 prize goes to Lillian Giordano. Lillian, where are you? Four dollars. This is near the end of the evening. Wow. Let's give a great big round of applause. Prize five hundred dollars goes to Mike Nielsen. Mike, are you in the house? That's me. Is it? He is. <laughs> Let's give all of our winners no, a great big round of applause okay. on their prizes. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, on the way out, check the board to see if you won any of the raffle. Okay, that's it for the evening. They're cleaning up. I just missed it. What a beautiful setting. Have a nice evening.